you know, probably at your place you've got a deck or you've got a bonfire pit and it's a great place to sit and spend an evening. And what you need out there is just the right piece of outdoor furniture to sit on and play your guitar or to just sit on and chat. And this little stool right here is just perfect for it. It's pretty cool. It's got a simple to make frame and then the seat itself is made just using household twine. So I'm gonna show you how you can make this piece of outdoor furniture for your place. The legs on this stool are one and a half by one and a half, 16 inches long. So I've got some material here to glue those legs out of. And what I want for this, two things, I want to use the right glue so that when this piece of furniture is outside, the glue is going to be able to take that. I also want a real easy way to spread the glue over this big surface. And that's going to come down to this piece of threaded rod right here. Now, get some clamps on here, give this a chance to cure, and we'll have a blank for the legs that will definitely be able to stand up to some outside elements. Let's have a look at the components that are required in order to get one stool to come together. Of course, we need four legs. You can cut those out of the blanks that you glued up. In this case, I'm one and a half by one and a half by 16 inches long. You can make your legs longer in order to get a taller stool. I'm going to connect the legs with rails. The rails will be made out of one inch dowel. The longer rails on mine are 15 and three quarters of an inch long. The shorter ones are 11 and three quarters of an inch long. You'll need four of each size. Now one inch dowels are going to go into one inch holes. So I'm one inch on center to the first hole, 10 inches on center from the top to the second hole. On the adjacent face, we need a little offset there. So I'm one and a half to the first one, 10 and a half to the second one. Now, because of the way the holes come together, what I do need to do is sand a little facet onto my rails so that they miss each other down inside the joint. I've rounded over all the corners on these legs, each edge and the top and the bottom as well. Got everything nicely finished sanded before assembly. So now what I'm ready to do is glue everything together and I want to make sure again that I've got that um, glue that's suitable for outdoor furniture so that once I put my time into making this, I know it's going to last. Easiest way to do this will be to set up just one section at a time and get that in clamps and then we'll get the two sections to come together to make an entire stool. Get your two subsections and clamps, use a square, make sure that it's nice and perpendicular between the dowel and the leg, and then we're ready to keep going with the other four dowels and get these two halves put together. Here's the way the seat works on this thing. First, make sure that you've got everything stained and sealed so that you don't have to do that after the twine is on. I've got stain on this one and a good coat of polyurethane to help protect it. The twine, nothing special about that. Got it at a home center, just called bundle twine. I'm starting on this corner with a clove hitch. Look that up in your scout manual or check it out on the internet. I've got enough of an end out here, a free end, that as my wraps come around, they'll be able to capture this in order to make sure that it stays in place. The way it works is that you simply starting from this corner, go this way, keep that nice and tight, then come this way, there's the dog going by, then around the leg, over the top, over the top, around the leg. The hardest part of the whole thing probably is keeping it tight and not dropping the ball of twine because, he says from experience, that makes a big mess and you end up winding up a lot of twine. I've got this stool this close to being done. Now, a couple of things. One, here's the ball of twine. Here's what I started with. So 
This size project took nearly every foot of a 525 foot roll of twine in order to make this happen. If you run out of twine, it's not a big deal. You don't have to start over. But what you need to do is get a square knot tied between the piece that's on here and the piece that you're adding and get that knot so that it's somewhere here under the corner so that you can't see it when you're done. In this case, with this size project, it took me almost an hour, about 50 minutes of wrapping to get everything done. Here, this stool is rectangular. It's not square. So as a result, the corners that I've created with this weave pattern don't meet in the center. If this was a perfect square, they would. So I'm going to go one step further here and I'm going to finish this rectangular stool by simply wrapping over the top, round and round and round, until I fill this valley here in between. Well, as they say in the music business, the video business, and the making a stool with a twine seat business, that is a wrap. I did have to take a little bit of twine off of that fresh spool in order to finish this one off, but it's nice and tightly wound. We've got a good grade of glue on there that's going to let that piece of furniture be out there by the bonfire or on your deck where it's going to get well used and be much appreciated. Check this project out. Make a couple for yourself. You're going to really enjoy it. Thank you.